Hello, this is Wendy Lingham reporting from Britain. A few months ago, this program made a tour of the many colleges in Kensington around the Albert Hall. And one of the most interesting was the Imperial College of Science and Technology. So I'm very pleased to have been invited to Imperial College today to see some of the work that is being done in the field of engineering. Let's start with the Department of Civil Engineering, because this is the kind of thing most of us have in mind when we talk about engineering. Although most of the staff of this department are concerned with teaching undergraduates, this is also the largest school of civil engineering in this country for postgraduate work. As you've probably guessed from the swimming pool in the middle, complete with waves, this is the hydraulics laboratory. I've been interested to notice several women students of what was once regarded as a purely masculine subject. While they're investigating the action of water, I'm going to investigate the action of air. This balloon, why does it stay in one place all the time? Oh yes, I've got it. There's a jet of air blowing up from the tube down there on the right. Now over to mechanical engineering. Here's one part of the workshops where they produce very large and complicated pieces of equipment required for teaching. They also produce specially designed apparatus. Apparatus like this, for example. Believe it or not, it's a machine which simulates the action of the human knee, and it's used to test the wearing properties of an artificial knee joint made of metal. This is the Department of Biomechanics, and one of the things they're interested in here is the use of artificial joints to replace damaged human ones. In electrical engineering, I saw some demonstrations of the pioneer work that has been done here in the fascinating field of the linear induction motor. And if you're interested in high-speed action, watch this, 50 feet a second. That may look slow in comparison, but in fact, this is a supersonic wind tunnel which is used to test models of planes in conditions of twice the speed of sound. And they tell me they can also investigate speeds up to 26 times faster than sound. Protected by a glass window and with his hands encased in heavy rubber gloves, a member of the staff analyzes a solution of that deadly substance, plutonium. This is just one of the thousands of experiments that are going on all the time in a college that is one of the five most important and powerful schools of science in the whole of the Western world. Well, this is where I came in. Of course, I've only seen one part of the Imperial College of Science and Technology, but it's all I need to show me why they call this place Science City. This is Wendy Lingham saying goodbye from Britain.